Today it's all about an AIO liquid cooler that's beating all of its predecessors so far. Of course, we're talking of the brand new Pure Loop 2FX 360mm by Be Quiet. This could be viewed as some sort of spiritual successor to the well known Pure Loop. With a new FX product lineup, the manufacturer apparently has the intention to really slam the hammer onto the anvil and pack ARGB lighting in there, as well as their renowned Lightwings high speed fans, which are capable of going all the way up to 2500 RPM. So no wonder there's respectable cooling performance to be expected, but it does come at its price. According to the information I've been given, the Pure Loop 2FX in its 360mm version should first be available at an introductory price starting at 125 US dollars. Sometime later we would be looking at 155 dollars. Maybe even less, we'll have to wait and see about that. $125 does sound like a fair and attractive pricing to me, especially considering these Lightwings high-speed fans aren't exactly cheap either. $155 on the other hand might appear a bit much. So in order for the AIO to sell in the long term, it really needs to deliver. But that's all theory. What about real life? Are there maybe any noteworthy drawbacks one should be aware of? Anyway, Be Quiet is including lots of stuff. That would be the AIO unit itself, the three already mentioned fans, all the mounting hardware including a little bit of thermal paste, although I keep asking myself every time why not include a full tube to work with. And then there's also an ARGB slash PWM hub we can make use of. You could connect quite a few fans and ARGB devices to it and control it all from one spot with a single signal. However, just to be clear, we're not dealing with a controller here. I find it great that the hub can be installed into PC cases just like SSDs or rather 2.5 inch drives can. Alternatively, you could also attach it somewhere else with the adhesive strip. In my opinion, it would have been even better if it were a magnetic solution. Of course, the manual can't be missing. Oh, and I nearly forgot, Be Quiet is also kindly including us a 100ml bottle of coolant, because according to the manufacturer, we're supposed to refill the unit with a little coolant after about two years of use. This way, we are acting a bit more sustainable, extending the AIO's lifespan without it landing in the garbage after years of usage. Into play comes a common high quality 360mm aluminum radiator sporting a thickness of 27mm. Right off the bat, the core, the AIO unit consisting of radiator, pump and water block, still remains the same as seen with Be Quiet's regular Pure Loop. All that has changed with today's Pure Loop 2 FX is the upgrade from white only water block lighting to ARGB and the quality Lightwings high speed fans that also come with an illuminated ARGB ring. What could be viewed as a bit of an extra is the already mentioned ARGB slash PWM hub. Other than that, no further surprises here. Although the fans alone should have quite the impact on cooling performance due to their high fan speed of up to 2500 RPM and high static pressure, something that's always a great benefit when put on a radiator. The whole lighting connects via standard 5 volt 3 pin headers. Metal fittings come into play not only on the radiator, but on the water block too. Primarily they only serve an aesthetic purpose though. Noteworthy is the fact that the pump, capable of spinning at up to 5500 RPM, isn't located in the water block, but instead found its place right between the tubing. The water block sports a very nice aluminum cover, in my opinion, and features subtle lighting. Needless to say, the 400mm long, nicely braided tubing is just as much of a sight to behold. As very much expected, we are being greeted by a nickel-plated copper base. In fact, this happens to be my first CPU cooler that officially states support for AMD's upcoming socket AM5. While according to AMD's claims, AM4 coolers should be compatible with AM5, Be Quiet is guaranteeing support with their Pure Loop 2 FX. As a matter of fact, 
the installation onto my usual test system turned out to be child's play. I didn't even need to swap out my brackets, since the ones from its predecessor are the identical ones. The installation procedure, all in all, can be considered very convenient. But now let's see how well this AIO unit copes with my toasty AMD Ryzen 7 3800X, and I will of course also talk about noise levels. So I think my video title is accurate and I didn't promise you too much. Without a doubt, today's Pure Loop 2 FX overtakes all of its predecessors and while being at it, it even manages to beat almost all other AIO liquid coolers tested by the competition. With exceptions such as Enermax and Arctic, heavyweights in terms of cooling performance. So one thing's for sure, there's plenty of cooling performance at our disposal. The pump used here certainly is doing a great job, albeit most credit has to go to these high-speed fans. These amazing results do come with a price though, that being noise levels. While I would consider the pump to remain fairly quiet, one could say, no matter if going for low or high RPM numbers, the fans at their max of 2500 RPM can be a bit loud over a longer period of time. Considering the high fan speed, not even that loud, one would expect a jet engine, but that's not the case. But let me put it this way, most users will want to adjust the fan curve. I mean, there's no need to run at a constant 2500 RPM, a maximum of 1700 to 1900 RPM at high CPU temperatures is the perfect sweet spot between noise levels and performance, in my opinion. So is the premium over the regular pure loop even worth it at the end of the day? I know, I haven't included it in the charts, my bad. Well, the older pure loop 360mm can currently be had for about $120 or less. If you were to go for the more powerful successor pure loop 2FX 360mm, you'd quote unquote only have to spend $125. I would consider this to be a pretty good deal actually. If we were forced to pay $155 on the other hand, I'd probably skip today's colorful successor and grab the older model instead. As said before, in the core we are more or less dealing with the same old regular pure loop anyway. All that really changed are the fans, the lighting and that ARGB slash PWM hub. Those of you that feel the itch to pick up the special FX version with the mentioned advantages will simply have to dig deeper into your wallets. I personally like the addition of Be Quiet's AIO lineup now also sporting their good Lightwings fans. Now let's hope the price remains at $125 or less. If it does, that AIO should be selling fairly well. From a technical perspective, I have no complaints. With that being said, Thanks so much for watching and I hope you'll be back for the next video too.